for me personally, I think K-pop is more than just music. It's actually like Korean pop as a like a genre uh, for their music. But for me, I've been like doing this K-pop, specifically dance, for about like seven years. And then uh, I think it's more to like our lifestyle, like how we dress up, how we dance, how we eat. Edwin Grinaldi has been around the K-pop community for over seven years. He is a part of K-pop dance cover group called Play Group and founder of Playboys. Apart from his exquisite skills as a K-popper, he has been the judge for various dance cover competitions. K-pop has been a big part of his life. I started to like K-pop even more because of their dance. I remember some of the language like only the K-popers know. Yeah, for example, Tange, yeah, which means like I love you is the common word. And then we have Egyo, which is like the cuteness thing yeah, they usually do in variety. When you see something that is like really awesome, very, like really great, you can say Deba or Chang Chang. It's like uh like you're the best. This gesture, yeah, which is like the heart shape. You can call it Sarange with this one. Even you can do this to the people which is like far away and then they will they will instantly know that that means like I love you. Yeah, I think all of us, the K-pop dance cover teams, especially maybe the guys, yeah, especially the guys, because it's not really that common here in Indonesia that guys listen to K-pop. Yeah, sometimes they call us the K-popers, the terms of ally. Yeah, or maybe for the boys, they are called like lady boys or something because a lot of them were yeah were trying to copy different gender. Yeah, like we call it cross cover. It's actually it starts to make a difference nowadays. How we incorporate Indonesian culture with Koreans. Uh, so in certain dates, like our Independence Day, for example, some K-pop events order us for the competitors. We need to incorporate Indonesian culture, like their dance or maybe their, their costume or makeup traditionally, like combined with K-pop. I think it's a great idea to uh, not forgetting about our culture and but still doing it with uh, the K-pop way. K-pop has opened new opportunities for many Indonesians to improve their talents. Compared to Indonesia, South Korea may have different take on the K-pop culture as home to many influential Korean idols. Korean singers do get plastic surgeries a lot and they usually are really pretty because to be a singer they have to sing well, uh, dance well and but the view toward the plastic surgery is not that good but it's kind of acceptable, socially acceptable because it really like affects your self-esteem because of your face features. You you can change it by like having so surgery but like they want to hide it but even though so many pop stars or like like they already uh, we do have negative stigma toward K-popers. It's just for the aggressive ones, like who really follow the stars really aggressively. Like they want to have every single daily basis life of the stars, and they want to take photos and like they even like follow them and they like visit the house and like talk to them. And those are really like crazy. So people have really oh why are you doing that? It's really bad. Like actually the stars even like go to the police and like ask them to catch the fans because it's really it's what it was too much. There are so many Korean like K popers and followers, they really do like like songs and the singers and it is socially acceptable and it's really kind of recommended. K pop is Jang. amazing. Go Hail! Kimo Vito is my life. Sarang majestic. Fun! Awesome! My name is Edwin and I am a K-popper.